Well, hi everyone, welcome back to my blog. Ah, oh, I'm last day on set of Biggest Loser. I'm feeling a little bit sad. We've been here for so long and I'm gonna have to, what I'm probably more sad about is I have to pack up my joint here. And you don't wanna see the mess, but I've got clothes everywhere. Mostly uh, fitness gear all over the place, actually. I've got a cupboard full of it line up here, so yeah. I started out really good. I had everything tidy and neat and you know, anyway. So yeah, the pack up begins as soon as I've done this vlog. Sad day. But look, before we get onto that, let's let's talk about something that really is important that's come across my desk this week. I've had two emails from two different community organizations about the same topic, which is rather bizarre. And it's about a topic that Frankly, I've never even thought about or considered, and yet it's really important. These two uh, organizations essentially collect sanitary items like tampons and towels and deliver them to homeless women. <sighs> never even thought about that, but of course, it's a real issue. For those of us that are lucky enough not to have to even think about it, yeah, of course. I mean, Financially, everything counts when you're homeless. And you know, how are you going to be able to get these these items, these essential items? So there's these two organisations that do that, which is extraordinarily great work. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, so big shout out to the Melbourne Period Project and to Share Dignity. Great organisations, really charitable, good work, and like real work, stuff that's essential, right? I like it. All right, so back to Loser. Yes, it is my last week of Loser, and I'm sad to see everybody go, not just my contestants, but um, and the other contestants as well, but the crew. We all become such a family, and there's some people on this crew, this is our 10th season. There's some people on this crew that have been working for the full 10 years. I came in on the second year, so I've been doing this for nine years. And some of the camera guys and sound guys have been here the whole nine years. I've been working with them for that long. So they really do feel like family to me. Uh, and we, ha we do have a good time. It's tough, it's strenuous, like we pulled a 19 hour day the other day. Um, and we've been pulling probably 13 to 14 hours in this last week to get everything done. So we all sort of just chip in and really get through it. But last day is always a bit of fun. So they're about to call lunch soon. Um, and they usually have a bit of a party or something, so that'll be a bit, a bit of fun. Um, as far as my training this week, I have been getting it in. I've had a lot of fun on the assault bike. Anyone has a chance of getting on one of these those bikes that do this? They look like something from back in the 70s. You think, oh, that can't be that hard. Trust me, it smashes you. Do a Tabata round on a, an assault bike and you'll soon know about it. So I've been doing a bit of that. Practicing my double unders as always, uh, some rowing and some great deadlifting this week. Uh, of course, you know, with hours like 13 and 14 hour days, you can imagine I'm training, I think I was in the gym uh, the other day at, at just almost nine o'clock at night. Not exactly my ideal time to train, I'll grant you that, but I did it. I feel proud of that fact. <laughs> All right, so we, the last thing I wanted to mention to you is I have a question from a lady by the name of, she calls herself Fat, P-H-A-T, Emma, Fat, Emma, on YouTube. I don't know how I feel about that name. I'm very, very clear on language and the things that we project out to the universe. But anyway, that's your code name. Uh, her question was, if, you, if I could make food magically zero calories, it would be hands down potato. What would your zero calorie food be? Look, I'm gonna sound so boring here, but I don't play games with food. <laughs> I just don't, it's not what I do. You know, I enjoy the food that I eat, healthy, clean, whole. Uh, on the odd occasion when I go out, maybe for a beautiful lunch uh, on a Saturday or a Sunday, or an evening meal, like on a Saturday night, I'll have whatever I want, and if I want to have some potato, like hot chips, I'll do it. Um, and I'm not gonna sit there and go, oh, this has been so naughty, or oh, I wish there was zero calories, I'll just eat them, and not make a big 
deal out of it and then back on board with clean, whole, healthy living and eating the following day. Um, so if you're asking what my treat could be or something that I quite like is, yeah, I don't mind a bit of potato myself. I, I like a nice hot gourmet chip or two or three. Um, yeah, or maybe a glass of wine or maybe some chocolate. That's pretty much it from me. I hope you have a great time and I'm about to pack up all my digs. Bye!